does the leaf follow any purpose the leaf just is when the wind comes the leaf dances that's it when the heat is too strong the leaf dies withers away that's it but it's so disturbing oh my god nothing to do when the wind comes huh then move and dance then your time is up then go away that's it there is nothing nothing to be attained here except to get rid of all that you have already attained attain a particular lightness that is the only thing you can attain float like that leaf hmm pujari ji knows only a particular version of his own imaginations what does god have to do with all these things how the little leaf is moving and all that this entire system is godliness a leaf is part of that so do not say that leaf moves by god's will leaf moves by its own will which is the god's will the language of pujari is the language of duality what he is saying is that there is the leaf there is the world there is the wind and then there is somebody who is dictating all this there is nobody apart from all this who is dictating all this this is it and what you are seeing as leaf as wind and this and that are nothing but mind mind moves by its laws these are the laws of mind mind is rooted in the truth and the truth has no laws Hmm? so the wind the leaf this and that are just shadows hmm? go for the real thing not for the shadows do not look at these things and say that god is dictating all this god does not dictate anything 